What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy, Kevin Forte, and we are taking a look today at the St. Louis Blues. So, the Blues had a disappointing end to their season, and shout out to my Blues fans. Guys, you were rocking the playoff predictions video. I know you guys are a little down right now. It was a tough end of the season, but you know what? Give credit to the St. Louis Blues. The Avalanche have been smoking everybody so far in the Western Conference, and the Blues were the only team that not only got a win, they got two wins against the Colorado Avalanche. So, uh, shout out to my Blues fans out there. You guys are awesome. And, uh... Yeah, so let's get into today's video. So what I want to talk about today is the direction of the Blues going into next season. They have some pretty big contracts coming up as well. And we already talked about last week, if you shameless plug to last week's video, I talked about Tarasenko and Perron wanting to stay in St. Louis. I know for the longest time, Tarasenko up until last summer, right? Wanted to leave St. Louis. He, you know, kind of was requesting a trade. He wasn't too thrilled with the way they handled his shoulder surgery. He had to get multiple shoulder surgeries for the same injury because they didn't do it the right way the first one or two times. Um, he was kind of snubbed of the captaincy. He felt, I think O'Reilly is the right guy for the captaincy. But I think Tarasenko felt a little snubbed from that. But I think from all the fan support this season, I think... You know, kind of like how I have grown, a, you know, really enjoying the Blues fan base. I think he is starting to get that passion back from the fans. And he's saying, you know what? I want to stay in St. Louis. Um, Tarasenko and Ryan O'Reilly. And that's kind of segueing us into the next point of today's video. Uh, Tarasenko and Ryan O'Reilly both have one year left on their contracts. Which does mean as of July, which whatever whatever the first day of free agency is, it isn't July 1st, whenever July, whatever day it is, right? They can re-sign O'Reilly and Tarasenko. And I think at this point, it's pretty good. You know, it looks pretty good that they will re-sign those guys. Uh, Tarasenko at 30 and O'Reilly at 31. You're probably looking at probably five-year deals for each of them at a pretty high cap hit. Probably similar to what they're getting. They're both getting seven and a half. I do wonder, though, what the disparity in their contracts will be. Because we know Tarasenko does have kind of a rivalry, sort of, with O'Reilly. Again, because he got the captaincy from him. I think it's healthy competition, of course. I don't think he's, like, upset with O'Reilly. At least I don't think. But I wonder how they're going to disparage the money between those two. Because, again... That's something to consider. Uh, Tarasenko does have a no-trade clause, but at this point, it doesn't seem like it matters because he's likely going to stay. Um, Tyler Bozak and David Perron are the only UFAs this summer for the Blues. I do think Bozak retires. Nick Letty is also a UFA this summer. I believe Letty and Bozak both leave this summer. They do have some uh, restricted free agents. Um, Nico Makola. Uh, great name, by the way. Uh, restricted free agent. He does have arbitration rights, so he is going to have that to his to his advantage. And again, the Blues are going to have to have some cap space for him. Uh, Scott Perunovic, probably to a lesser extent, is also a UFA. This on on RFA without arbitration, so he'll probably get an easier two way contract. Nothing really crazy. Uh, and he's still fairly young at 23, so they might look to see what they have in him. Um, David Perron at 34, I think he signs a one or two year contract to stay in St. Louis. He's been bounced around the league, right? I mean, it's one of those things that's like you could put water at the top somewhere and it, it ends up going to the same sump, right? Because it always ends up going down and it leaks its way to the lowest point. That and that's not a bad thing here. I'm, I'm not putting it in a bad sense, but David Perron has always ended up back in St. Louis, right? He was traded, he was drafted by the Blues, went to Anaheim, went to Pittsburgh, signed again with the Blues. He's with the Blues. He goes in the expansion draft to Vegas, and then inevitably re-signs with the St. Louis Blues. So he's kind of had that track record of always coming back to St. Louis. He definitely has some connections there, and um. He wants to stay there, so hopefully they get that done. He's probably going to take a discount to stay with the Blues, especially with some of those big contracts coming up next season. Um, like I said, in O'Reilly and Tarasenko. So 
I don't see him signing for that crazy of a contract. Uh, this was from Jim Thomas, a Blues insider. The St. Louis Blues don't believe they need to make big changes to their roster this offseason. And I think that's kind of going with the sentiment that I just mentioned, that this team is pretty good. Um, this is a good hockey team. And I really think that had it not been the Colorado Avalanche, they would have had a better chance. But that doesn't mean they should be complacent because at the end of the day, they did lose in the second round. They still lost. You know, if you want to win a Stanley Cup, you have to beat those Colorado Avalanche teams, whether you met them in the second round or the third round or even in this Stanley Cup final from the Eastern Conference. You still have to find a way to beat those teams. And I think that's something that the Blues suffered from. Now, they do have a really good center core, a really good team overall. But again, I think there is some deficiencies on that blue line. Um, I like Falk. I like Krug. I like Pareko. But Marco Scandella, Robert Bortuzzo, one of those two guys ends up being your fourth defenseman. That's where I see things a little bit more. It's a little bit more troubling after those first three guys. And you still have Kyle Rosen. And, and it starts. And that's why Nicoletti came in at the deadline, right? He was supposed to be that four defenseman. Um and he did that to a lesser extent. He did a pretty good job, I would say. I like Nick Luddy as an Islander. Um, Ville Husso is going to leave in free agency as well. So you're probably looking at a team next year that doesn't have Ville Husso, Tyler Bozak, and Nick Luddy. Um, I think, truthfully, those are the three guys that are of really any significance to the Blues roster that won't return. Um, this is from... Uh, Jimmy Rutherford, Ryan O'Reilly is eligible to sign an extension this offseason and wants to remain in St. Louis. Again, kind of going with the sentiment we already talked about. Uh, the update on Ville Husso um, from Andy Strickland is Ville Husso could be the most sought after UFA goaltender this summer. And I think Blues fans are going to chuckle a little bit because remember the last time we heard about a Blues backup goaltender having one good season and all of a sudden he gets a big ticket in Buffalo. That's right, the Carter Hutton project. So, I think Blues fans should very much stay away from re-signing Billy Cuso as good as he was this season. Don't invest big money into this guy. And I'm not saying this against Philly Huso. He had a great comeback season from two really bad seasons in St. Louis. And they were wondering if he would even be a, comp a competent backup the last two years, right? But he comes in, has a good season. And uh, the show goes back to Jordan Bennington as he is their number one guy without Ville Husso next year. We already talked about this, but from Elliot Friedman, uh, David, pa uh, David Pasternak, wrong video. David Perron is not expected to hit the free agent market this summer. Again, kind of going with the sentiment that he wants to return to St. Louis. I think most Blues, Blues fans understand the... Uh, loyalty i guess you could say to this fan base and this organization again the amount of times that he was exposed in expansion drafts traded away and he still ends up coming back i think david perron is a fan favorite there uh for many reasons and i think he will return to st louis on a cheap deal so with that said let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, I think the main point of this video is really talking about some of the guys that are going to leave. Like I said, my predictions are a forward Bozak, a defenseman Letty, and a goaltender Ville Husso. That's the nature of the beast in the cap, you know, the salary cap world. Not a bad thing though for the Blues. And like I said, I do think they've re-signed David Perron, Ryan O'Reilly, and Vladimir Tarasenko. And this team is kind of set moving forward. Guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.